in need of more disk storage and want to back up everything I've created. So I am building a NAS. The disk station comes with a power cord, two LAN cables for hardwiring it to your network, the keys, and the power adapter. It also comes with the screws for the disk drives in the disk drawers. When you pull it out, you will get the quick installation guide, but know that most information you'll want about it is online. Slide it out and the first thing you'll see is that large fan on the back and a variety of ports from power to different ways to connect into it. On the bottom, you can install up to two SSDs to create an SSD cache volume. These are easily accessible. You can always add these or remove them whenever you want. Now looking at the front, you'll have your disk lights and status light and a USB access and power. And then you'll see the two disk drawers. Simply slide these out. And they're very simple. They have lots of openings so the fan can run air through and past the hard drives. And on the front of each is a keyhole, so you could lock them if you so chose. And I'm just going to pull both of these out so we can see inside it. Now on the inside, you can see the large fan. You can see where the hard drives connect. You can also add a memory module along the side. So you have plenty of ways to add on to this NAS. And that's basically it. The drawers snap in easily. Use the keys to lock them if you so choose. I am thrilled with this DS720 two bay disk station. I especially like that I can add non-Synology products to it. <laughs>